let's check in and get the latest from our Steamboat correspondent, Alan Lay. Hey there, Alan. What do you have for us today there in Steamboat? Hey, Brittany. A lot of activity happening here at the Steamboat Resort this week. On Saturday night, February 18th, the resort is hosting a light up the night celebration balloon glow from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Spectators can stroll among the standing balloons or watch from the warmth of a slopeside eatery. Enjoy night skiing, swing by one of the many restaurants, warm up and enjoy dinner and drinks. And the grand finale will be the fireworks and torchlight parade. Get ready for the steamboat light up the night celebration. It's going to be a blast. Thursday, February 23rd, marks the return of Sunset Happy Hours at the top of the gondola at Thunderhead Lodge. February 23rd, Sunday 26th, and throughout the month of March, Sunset Happy Hour will be every Thursday and Sunday evening, with two exceptions on Thursday, March 2nd, and Sunday, March 19th, for special events. This is a can't-miss steamboat activity, and one that will bring you back time and time again. Take in the scenery, enjoy the culinary delights, listen to live music, and toast to the sunset overlooking the Yampa Valley. The Steamboat Resort also announced the lineup for the Spring Concert Series. Shows start around 3.30 p.m. on the stage in Steamboat Square, and of course, they are free. March 11th sees Jay and the Causeways, the 18th, Southern Avenue, March 25th, Chris Jacobs Band, April 1st, Jocelyn and the Sweet Compression, April 2nd, March 4th, April 8th, The Main Squeeze, and the finale on April 9th with The Whalers. As of this report, the Steamboat Resort has 21 of 21 lifts open, supporting a base of 80 inches at Mid-Mountain and 115 inches at the summit with all 171 trails open. Be sure to check out Steamboat.com for the most up-to-date conditions, including trail and lift information. Now, are you a local with no quiet place to work? Or are you visiting and your hotel or condo just doesn't have the bandwidth to support the Teams or Zoom meeting that your boss just scheduled? Well, a ski locker here in Steamboat Springs is your solution to all of your business needs. Whether you're a local of the boat and looking for a full-time desk to call your own, or just visiting and need a productive place to work, they can help at the Ski Locker. I had the opportunity to check out the space and to speak with owner Tim Cook about the community he is building at the Ski Locker. Here with Tim Cook at the Ski Locker Steamboat. Tim, thank you for making the time today, and what an awesome space. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate it. Glad to have you guys out. Absolutely. So this is Steamboat's premier co-working space. If you're a visitor or a local that needs high-speed internet, you can stop by the Ski Locker. As you can see behind us here, we've got you know, some uh, desks and computers set up for your individual workspace. There's also a conference room. And Tim, you took over in 2020? Yeah, yeah, just a couple years ago. But the Ski Locker has been around for five years now. So it's a really close-knit uh, community of locals that have kind of come together, have helped to uh, survive even through COVID. Mm -hmm. And I saw on your website you have kitchen space as well for members. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got kitchen space. So we've got coffee, tea, we've got liqueurs, snacks back there. So when you come into the space, we've got all that in, in house ready to go. Um, there's no additional cost for anything. So when you come in, everything's included. You know, some places will charge you more for printing services or conference room services or any of that stuff. Everything's just included, ready to go. Another great thing about the ski locker, we've, it's a, just a professional space. So sometimes, you know, you might be working in a space where you've got that cinder block background or that, you know, kind of like cheap modern construction, right? If you need that real professional background, the professional space, we've got that here. Outstanding. And what do your internet speeds run up to? Oh, man, I have no idea. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're lightning fast. So uh, the city of Steamboat, they've laid down a, a fiber network. It just runs right through the alley back here. Um, so we, we're plugged directly into that. So it's not through any of the, the local ISP. It's all run through the fiber. Oh, well, I cheated, and I think I saw minimum speeds of 250 megabits. <laughs> minimum. So There you go. There you go. <laughs> Outstanding. And how do folks reserve space or become a member? Yes, yeah, so you can just hop on our website. Um, so you can Google us. We're easily uh, found through Google or any of your search engines. Um, you can do, do it right through there. Or if you want to just give me a call. So phone numbers on our website as well. Well, Tim, I appreciate again the time. Ski Locker Steamboat, the premier co-working space here in Steamboat. If you've got a meeting, if you've got a teleconference, come check out the Ski Locker. Awesome. Thanks, Alan. Now, what really came through on my visit is that Tim truly is building a community here. He was actually a patron back in 2020 when the previous owner was going to shut it down due to COVID, and Tim said, no, this space is too important. Many folks utilize the ski locker for the camaraderie or a place to meet up and connect with colleagues, and several of the people I spoke to told me that they made random business connections just simply by being at the ski locker. Now, I'm not saying you're going to meet up with the next multi-million dollar opportunity here, 
but you just never know. That's what's going on here in Steamboat Springs. Back to you in the studio, Brittany. That balloon glow sounds magical if I do say so myself. That sounds like a perfect date night if you ask me, Alan. It completely is. You know, it's really fun. You get to kind of get up personal with the basket and the balloon operators, and it is really a fun event. Thank you so much for checking in, Alan, with such great events and news. Really appreciate it.